Here's a few more tips and tricks for getting the most out of analyzing reef imagery with the reef cloud system. Firstly, you can use the search bar here if you have an idea of roughly the name of the coral you're looking for in your variable list here. Rather than scrolling through, you can start typing. So for example, open branching acropora, if you start typing open, it's gonna come up with the variable name there. The other little trick that we realized is that if you're in the points view, uh, this is showing you all of the points for all of the images that have been uploaded in this um, particular survey, which is Whitfield Cove. And you can see at this resolution, we're only seeing six on the screen at the same time. What we found is if you go up here to the zoom level of your browser and start zooming down, you suddenly start to have a whole lot more on the screen. This can make things a lot quicker. For example, rather than going through image by image, if there's a particular type of coral that is very, very obvious, so for example, turban area here, you can go through all of these images and you can select multiple examples of turban area like that. And you'll see each one gets a little red box around it when it's been selected. You can go through and find all of the turban area in one go and then you can just go over here and start typing turban area. And there we go, dendrophilid turban area. And it's suddenly just classified. You'll now see over in the left-hand side of the box, uh, the classification, the human classification. So it can be quite a fast way to do uh, common uh, labels which appear under lots and lots of points. So for example, turban area or sand or rubble or can see here there's macroalgae you can go through and do it this way and it can be a quite uh, a rapid way to uh, train the system the other thing worth noting is that reef cloud can only learn what a code in your variable list is if you show it and so when you start first working on a project and you haven't really coded many points at all uh, if you really want the machine to get good at guessing what is underneath the points, the best thing to do is actually go through and try and find an example of as many things as you can in your list. Try and find an example of these things and code them. And then that way, that, uh, the Reef Cloud system is going to get a handle on what things look like. I mean, it can't guess what a coral is until you've shown it what a coral is at least once or twice or three or four times. So if you want the machine to get really good, uh, which is helpful for learning because uh, you know you can then come up to a, a point and mouse over it. This one here, it's guessing as turban area correctly. So we've only coded a small number of points in this particular um, survey set so far, so the machine's not guessing very well. But if you go through and select a whole lot of points um, and match them up with the variables, then the machine is going to get increasingly good. And then it, it can save you a lot of time because then just by mousing over them, you get an idea of what is actually underneath that point. The other useful function that Reef Cloud has is a search function up here. So under filters, you can go through and classify your points uh, and it works best if you're in this points view. So you can go to the points view. And so for example, we could go through and find all of the points that the machine has labeled as, let's say, let's pick one that we've done. So Montipora encrusting. And if we apply the filter, the system is now gonna throw up each point that it thinks is Montipora encrusting. And so again, if you've, if you've coded a few of these variables, most of these, guesses that the machine does are going to be accurate. And so it's very quick now to go through and select the ones that it has in fact got right. And then say, okay, yep, that was Montipora encrusting. That one definitely is. And that one is too. And here's another one. So for example, we know that it got all of those right. And so we go over here to our variable list, type in, look for Montipora encrusting. And it's going to code those up for us and then each one of those boxes now changes and has a, a human label in the corner. So those are a few little tips and tricks to help you move quickly through the reef cloud system and 
get the most out of ReefCloud and its interpretive abilities for your data.